Hi, I'm Ray Owens. I'm the owner of the website Square Dance Tech. In this video, I hope to give you an entertaining update on what Square Dance Tech has done over the last year or so. For those of you who may not be familiar with the site, I hope you'll check it out. Perhaps you'll find some tools to help with your club or events marketing. A little background first. I got back into square dancing, I don't know, five-ish or so years ago after a multi-year absence. I became frustrated that I couldn't register online for any of the dances I wanted to attend. I mean, the National Convention, the National Singles Convention, the Ohio State Convention, and many, many others. All of the conventions wanted you to print out a form and write out a check and then snail mail it to them. And I'm thinking, are you kidding me? It's the 21st century. Why are we still using procedures that we had in place in the 1960s? Well, this frustration led me to create the site WeaveTheRing.com. It was devoted solely to Square Dance event online registration. But you know, it wasn't just online registrations. It was the whole online infrastructure. Clubs and events didn't have dedicated websites, or if they did, it was hobbled together by some poor individual who was doing their best. If a club or event was lucky, they may have had a Facebook page but there were no online calendars, no online flyers, and most importantly, no way for non-dancers who might be interested in learning our activity to easily find us. Because that's how marketing is done in the 21st century, online. Now, most of the reasons for a lack of professional online presence is the dearth of internet design experience among our dancers. I mean, we just don't have a lot of web designers in our ranks. And that's what led directly to my building Square Dance Tech. I realized most clubs and events don't have the technical chops to create an attractive online presence. Square Dance Tech was primarily built to offer website construction, but it's expanded into a lot of areas of marketing, mainly because, well, it's going to come as no surprise that Square Dancing can probably use all the help it can get. So... Here's what I've been working on. Over the last two years, I added eight promotional videos that can be customized with your club's contact information. You can post those videos on your club website and social media and perhaps gain a few new dancers. There's no charge for me to customize those videos for you. This year, I really embraced creating online event schedules. Instead of toting around a paper schedule for who's calling when and where, Anyone with a smartphone could access the schedules online. There was no app to download. It didn't matter whether or not you had an Android, an iPhone, a Windows phone, or pretty much any operating system. If your phone had a browser, it could access the schedules. The schedules could be sorted by dance leader, by dance levels, and lots of other filters. The dance leaders themselves found the schedules invaluable because they didn't have to scan through a printed page and pray they didn't miss an obligation. All they had to do was filter for their names and voila, only their schedule dances would appear on their screen. And like the promotional videos, there's no charge for me to create the schedules for your events. I also added a completely new section this year called Artwork. Like so many of our marketing materials, many of our current tools are not up to the job of 21st century marketing. Clip art images are seriously dated. They're childish looking, and in our efforts, they just don't look professional. So I utilized an artificial intelligence art generator called Midjourney, and with it, I was able to easily create hundreds of original modern art graphics for use in flyers and on websites and videos, pretty much however you'd like to use it. Your club or organization can use any one of these graphics. There's over 500 of them. You can use them in any way that you want. There, again, is no cost to do so. The World Wide Web is a visual medium. One of the things that I spend a lot of time doing is taking pictures and creating videos for use in websites and, again, online marketing. I'd like to say that I'm burning up YouTube servers with my videos, but... You know, the truth of the matter is that I only get a few dozen views of any given video. In 2022, I released 276 videos. And that's an average of three videos every four days. And of those videos, only 10 of them received more than 500 views. Only three got a thousand or more. 
So let me count down for you the top 10 videos I released this year. Number 10 is from the Evansville Convention. And, you know, actually four of the top 10 were all from Evansville. Number 10, with 509 views, is my good friend Tom Davis. Tom was asked to do the keynote address at the convention. The point of this speech today is, here's the change. We've got to change. We've got to make a change. Change is inevitable. It's in your hands. It's in my hands. Number nine with 528 views is from the Trail End Dance at the Evansville Convention. Jack Platties, Jet Roberts, and Ted Lazat, they're always a pleasure to dance to. Number eight, 530 views, is from the Turkey Run Weekend in Indiana. It's a rendition of Honeysuckle Heaven by the Name of Mobile by Tony Oxendine and Jack Platties. And I have to tell you, if I never hear this song again, it'll be too soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Walk in square through. Number seven with 536 views, the Spring 2022 Social Square Dance News. Now this series also holds the number three and four spots of the top 10 countdown with 1,070 and 633 views respectively. Callers Scott Brown, Lisa Minton, and Sean Brown are strong proponents of SSD dancing. And they reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing to create some video news updates of their efforts in Pennsylvania and Ohio and also touch on SSD efforts around the country. Welcome to the Fall 2022 edition of Social Square Dance News. Great strides have been made since our last update, coming out of the 71st National Square Dance Convention. Number six with 583 views is a video from the 2022 Caller Lab Convention, which was held in Pittsburgh. Caller Lab Vice Chairman, at the time, Ted Lazat had invited me to attend. He asked if I was willing to share some of my knowledge with callers about online activities, including digital marketing and website design. I was delighted and humbled by the invitation. So, the least I could do to earn my supper was take a lot of pictures and videos. I'm going to skip number five for just a second because it's really tied in with number two because, well, you'll see in a second. Number three and, or, uh, yeah, number three and four we already talked about. They're the winter 2021 and fall 2022 SSD news update videos. But back to number five, this one also from Evansville. It's my post montage of photographs that I always take of the Nationals. I take hundreds of pictures of the Nationals, and then I always create a montage of it. The music backing this up is by caller Buddy Weaver. He's performing Riding My Thumb to Mexico. Now, the song itself is from a country singer that I loved as a kid, Johnny Rodriguez. So that caught my ear right away. The number two video this year is the performance of that song by Buddy in Evansville. It has 1173 views. If you look closely on the video at the left hand side at about two minutes and 11 seconds, you'll see me on the stage. I'm taking pictures. Not a big fan myself of being on camera, but you know, I got caught in my own video there. I posted this video on Facebook with a comment. I simply love a caller who can sing and Buddy can absolutely sing. Caller Vernon Jones responded with, well, we can all sing, Ray, just not like Buddy. <laughs> Caller Tom Davis was a lot more circumspect. You know, if we could sing, we'd all be in Nashville. <laughs> okay, one last fanboyish note about this particular video. Twice on the video, Buddy uh, growls. He growls the word promenade at 1 minute and 38 seconds, and then again at 3 minutes and 10 seconds, and every time I listen to it, I just go, oh, yeah. <laughs> now, 
Now, the number two video had 1,173 views, but the number one video had nearly twice that many at 2,319 views. Now, does that mean the number one video is twice as good? No, no, not hardly. In fact, the 2022 video with the most views of them shouldn't have had that many. In fact, it probably should have topped out at around 100 views. Grove City Western Square is here in the Columbus, Ohio area, celebrated their 20th anniversary in August. And like normal, I took a lot of pictures and videos of the event, and then I put together a little collage for them, and then I posted it to YouTube. And then YouTube suggested the video on their home page, where millions of eyeballs are looking each day. YouTube kept the video on the homepage for three days, and out of those millions of visitors, a couple of thousand people, probably out of sheer boredom or curiosity, clicked on a video of a square dance club in Ohio having an anniversary. Then, then they backed out real quickly. And to back up that theory, the video itself is four minutes and 11 seconds long, but the average view time, the average time that it was watched was all of 32 seconds. <laughs> 32 seconds before those thousands of people went, what the hell am I watching? <laughs> it's a small As we mentioned earlier, the web is a visual medium, so I spent a lot of time taking photographs. In 2022, I posted 4,568 pictures of square dancing. On average, I have to shoot eight or nine pictures for every one that I think is good enough to keep, which means that I shot somewhere between 36 and 42,000 pictures in 2022. Mm. Square Dance Tech's original purpose, and the main way that I fund all these activities is by website design, build, and hosting. Now, I was a little gobsmacked when I looked up this information. I built 27 websites in 2022, heavens above. Included in those two baker's dozen plus are several caller websites, and I am going to name drop here, including Mike Seastrom, Hunter Keller, and even Travis Cook. A lot of club sites, a couple of music publisher sites, and it was even hired to build the National Square Dance Convention's Executive Committee website. Yay me. I probably shouldn't play favorites, but in my not-so-humble opinion, the most visually appealing site I built this year belongs to caller Christy Williams. You can see it at kw.dance. Christy's insistence on purples and butterflies really challenged me to make something pretty with that. In September of this year, I got an unexpected request from caller Barry Clasper. Barry and his wife Pam were recipients of the Caller Lab Milestone Award in 2022. It's the highest award Caller Lab bestows. Barry's in charge of the Caller Lab knowledge base. He emailed me to ask if it was okay to include Square Dance Tech in Caller Lab's list of resources. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> So now Square Dance Tech is right there with Where's the Dance and Vic Cedar's Square Dance Resources. Finally, I have a shout out and a belated thank you to pass out. Square Dance Tech has been able to accomplish a lot of work for square dancing. Frankly, the jury's still definitely out on the question whether or not my efforts are, you know, making a difference. Square dancing as a whole seems to be stuck on the one phrase that just makes me insane. Well, we've always done it that way before. <laughs> Anyway, that said, none of the work, none of the magic I've been able to do for people would have been possible without Ohio caller Jack Platty's opening doors for me. Jack took a huge leap of faith in letting me redesign his website in the early, early days. And he's been a strong proponent of online registrations, digital marketing, and bringing square dancing into the 21st century. Jack's always willing to try something new if he thinks it'll benefit square dancing. None of the things that I've talked about in this video would have been possible without Jack opening doors and making introductions. Whatever positive impact Square Dance Tech has had on square dancing as a whole is 100% due to Jack Platties. I'm honored he's my mentor and my friend. Thank you, Jack. Well, that's pretty much a wrap for 2022. I'm looking forward to seeing what you and I can accomplish together in 2023 for square dancing. I'm Ray Owens.